Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joe from Gadgetry Tech and today we're going to talk about germs and why it sucks and what you can do to remove some of it off your phone. So with that being said, we're going to talk about the Excel UV sanitizer with wireless charging. Very straightforward product name. I'm sure there's a specific model number. Uh, if there is, I'll put it in the description to help you find it. And I'll put a link in the description too to take you to Amazon. Um, it's just an affiliate link. It's not like it's some special partnership I have with Excel, but if you think this is the right product for you, I'll have a link in the description below. Um, I'll cover pros and cons. I know what's out there as far as competitors go and, and what I like about this one. So hopefully it helps you make your decision, but I also want to educate you a little bit on the way this works. So um, let's unplug this because I want to show you some really cool things. One, it's actually a pretty big size, uh, which I like because phones keep getting bigger. And just for comparison, I'll, I'll show you some measurements as well. But this is a, a iPhone 12 Pro Max, a pretty large phone. And when I put it in here, Let's drop it in. I have a bit of extra room. So I can, um, if I get a larger phone or if I get a larger bulkier case with this phone, at least I know it should still fit fine. So uh, it, depending on what phone you have out there, I, again, I'll put dimensions in the review um, shortly, but uh, it's at least big enough for what's out there right now. Now it's a USB-C port in the back, single USB-C does come with a USB-C cable in the box and a, an 18 watt uh, power adapter, AC to USB. The only thing I'll critique on the USB cable is I wish it was longer. Um, it looks to be about three feet or one meter long. Um, if you're watching this and you're thinking of putting it in a medical office, um, you know, hospital, wherever it may be, plugs aren't always in the most ideal spot. So unfortunately this cable doesn't give you everything you need out of the box, but if you got a USB extension cable, um, it should still work fine. So anyway, it's a very straightforward connection. I do like that it's not proprietary, so you can replace it. Just make sure that whatever power adapter you're using has at least uh, 15 or 18 watts of output because you want to make sure this device actually turns on. If you have a low powered USB adapter, it won't work. It just won't light up. So a couple cool things. When I plug this in, it lights up. So I know it's getting power and it's working. And there's two different uh, lights on it. There's the UV light inside and then there's this blue LED ring that goes on top. It's really straightforward for charging. I actually found that it does wrapper charging uh, really well even with my phone being in a case. Just place the phone on top. You can see the lights turn on and then the phone lights up and I'm good to go. Now when you want to sanitize, all I have to do is lift the lid and then this is the one critique I had outside of the cable. The lid's a little bit, uh, it has some decent weight to it and the base is fairly light. So when it's all the way back, it rocks back a little bit. It doesn't ever tip over, but um, that's just something I noticed. I wish there was a little bit of extra weight in the front. It would feel more stable. So anyway, you put the phone in, close the lid, and press the button. It'll turn on. Now there's one nifty feature. I'm going to do this while I finish talking about the rest of the review because um, it, it, I can make this run for five minutes. So there's a little spot for uh, aromatherapy or an essential oil diffuser, if you will. This doesn't impact the capability to disinfect your phone, but it makes the area inside smell extremely fresh or whatever you want it to smell like, depending on what essential oil you use. Um, it's not gonna make the room smell great, but at least if you want to add any kind of an odor, I don't plan on really ever doing this in the future, but for science, it says do a single drop, which I think I got one or two in there, but this is stress release or stress away. This has been a trying couple of years, so I could use that. Let's uh, put the phone in. I'm going to turn this on. And if you press it once, the button will light up on the 5 by default, and it'll run for 5 minutes. If I press it again, the light turns blue on top, and the light next to the 10 lights up, meaning it's running for 10 minutes. It says it does 360 degree uh, UV disinfecting. Um, the lights are all on top, so I guess it's using a lot of reflective properties inside the enclosure to do that. Um, I've flipped my phone upside down before just to, uh, I guess, be more thorough and just did it five minutes on each side. But you can do it either way you want. If you hit the button by accident, it won't turn off. Um, like if you lift the lid to take your phone out and close it, it will turn back on and finish that five minutes. If you need to cancel it, just press and hold uh, the button on top and it'll cancel the cycle. So uh, while that's doing its thing, let's talk about a few other uh, bits of information that might be helpful. So. This is UVC light. There are different types of UV uh, 
spectrums out there, and UVC is 200 to 280 nanometer wavelengths. Um, US, uh, yeah, USB. UVA and B is basically what you get from sunlight, tanning beds, etc. So it's not the same thing. Different spectrums of UV have different properties. Then you go past UAV, uh, UVC uh, and you get into medical stuff like far UAV or UV, <laughs> UAV. So um, this is UVC. It's designed specifically for disinfecting. It is clinically proven to disinfect 99.9% um, of bacteria when the light hits it. It has to be fairly close. You don't want shadows. That's why they put them in these controlled environments. Plus UVC can be very damaging for your skin and your eyes. So don't flip the lid and look at it. I can tell you what's really nice is when you lift this up, it turns off. When you close it, it turns back on. There's a little bit of a, a give if you crack it open. So don't crack it open and stare at it. That's terrible for your eyes. You will feel that very quickly. Um, so with that being said, try to keep this away from children um, because they may mess around with it and want to look at the light inside. It's very bright and it's purpley, so I'd imagine people be uh, wanting to see it. So at least there's some safety measures there. Um, I actually got a whiff <laughs> of the essential oil when I did that. So your phone is a cesspool of bacteria. Um, there's been all kinds of studies out there for literally over a decade that shows that phones uh, carry seven to ten times the amount of bacteria as what's on a toilet seat at a public restroom. Now it's different kinds of bacteria so I don't want to go down into that rabbit hole of saying it's always worse. I'm still not going to want to touch a toilet seat lid and be like oh it's fine I hold my phone. Exercise best practices. Wash your hands often. This is just an extra th step to properly disinfect your phone or small devices. I got these things here. So I have my car keys, a flash drive, anything you uh, touch often with your hands. If you're concerned about bacteria and it fits in here, why not throw it in once in a while? It's a fairly inexpensive product and I do like that this one doubles as a charger because um, and it's a wireless charger which is great. So if you are using this as an office or next to your nightstand at home, just place it right on top to charge when you don't need to disinfect, and then you have that extra functionality. So not too much more money, but a huge benefit. So this should be done shortly. Um, I do think that the UV light, because of how that works, there's a little bit um, of light that you can see through the top here. Um, I don't know how well it'll work if you're sleeping at night and this is right next to you, if the light will be a bother, but it's not leaking from inside the enclosure. It's basically just almost acting like a status light to show you that it's charging or uh, disinfecting, but it's not radiating from underneath. It's not like there's a there isn't a proper seal or anything like that. So yeah, it shows that you can put jewelry in it. Um, you know, again, anything that's tiny that fits and that's really it. There's not a lot to something like this. This is a $50 product. I mentioned the phone soap uh, brand before. Other brands will have different styles, of course, and some of them will be battery operated. They're much more expensive. They can be bulkier and heavier that way. They often charge your phone through a cable. Um, I like the versatility of wireless charging and then just opening and closing it and putting your phone in. So it's about as straightforward as it, as it gets. I don't, there's not really anything to set up, just plug it in and go. So I don't know if I gave this enough time to finish. It probably didn't help that I reset the counter, but that's really all there is to this product. Um, hopefully you guys <laughs> found this helpful. I don't wanna drag this out. It doesn't need to be a long review. The short story is, if you want a good way to disinfect your phone in addition to occasional wiping and cleaning it and washing your hands, this is a great option and I trust Excel as a brand. I've, if you look at my channel historically or search my channel for Excel, A-C-C-E-L-L, -L, I've covered a ton of their products. They always work. I'm using their products right now. I wish I could pick this up without um, possibly disinfect, uh, turning off my camera. And nope, there's no way that's happening. I still use the Excel power adapters that I've covered because I love using all my camera gear off it. So their stuff's reliable. I actually like this matte white plastic because it's not gonna show fingerprints, dust, or scratches that well. Um, it's very durable that way. So it should hold up for a long period of time. And that's basically it. So uh, hopefully I answered your questions. If you have any questions, shoot me a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be covering a lot of other stuff. Um, we're catching back up after the move. Um, building a new house right now. And there's a lot to happen over the next four or five months. So expect some changes. Thank you as always for the support. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye. All right, so I ended that video because it was still sanitizing my phone and I had no reason to drag out the video otherwise, but when it was done, I took my phone out. I actually forgot that I used the essential oil 
uh, in there and I just picked up my phone. I went to hold it to my ear to make a call and it actually smelled pretty good. So it does work. Uh, it probably helps that I have a rubberized case. It holds it slightly. I don't think it's going to last long, but it's kind of cool, I guess, as a final effect. So if you add a little bit of a lemon or any kind of a citrusy smell to it, not only do you actually get your phone disinfected, but it actually smells really clean. So that's kind of cool. It's not strong enough where my hand doesn't smell like the essential oil, so that's good. But uh, it's pretty nifty. I didn't expect it to work the way it did, but it actually did make my phone smell fresh. So that's a cool little ad. Anyway, thanks, guys. See you next time. Mm -hmm.